Recently, this 19 year old Thai rapper has taken over the internet by storm and seriously, I just need to talk about her. Millie is not only incredibly talented with stunning visuals, but she's also not afraid to speak up for things that matter. If you want to find out more about this new internet queen, you're in the right place. Millie is currently popping off and her verse from Mirror Mirror is playing in everybody's head. But before we get into her sudden success, let's look at Millie's roots and where her immense talent comes from. She was born in November of 2002 in Thailand and she's mostly known either as Minnie or Millie. Millie has been a fan of music ever since she was young, especially of hip hop. She says her biggest influence on her own music was Nicki Minaj. And I mean, are we even surprised? Since she was such a music lover, Millie began rapping in the second grade. But before Millie decided to make music her career, she actually went on to do a music entrepreneurship program at a university. So obviously, not only can she spit actual fire, but she's super smart and educated as well. Millie officially started to pursue music as a career back in 2019 when she decided to enter the Thai competition show The Rapper 2. I guess it doesn't come off as a surprise when I say that Millie was a favorite among the judges, especially due to her unique style. After the show, Millie got registered as an artist with the South Asian content provider Yup, and Girlie basically fought to get to where she's now ever since. Millie's official debut happened in February of 2020 when she released Pat Con as her debut song. Now, this song blew everyone away for a couple of reasons. First, it showed that Millie was actually actually a multilingual queen as she rapped in Lu, Isan, and English throughout the song. Talk about talent! In this song, Millie disses her friends for being so boy crazy that they result in spreading gossip and fake rumors at school. Just to show Millie's influence, PacCon right now sits at almost 90 million views on YouTube. It's pretty obvious that Millie is going to have a major impact in the future because her rap skills are on a whole nother level. Since her debut in 2020, Millie quickly made a name for herself. She already scored herself a couple of awards. The first one was an award for Best New Asian Artist Thailand at the 2020 Mnet Asian Music Awards, and the second that followed was an award for Rising Star at the 2020 Kaz Awards. But that's still not all. This new icon is also a part of the project group 2021 Rotary. They're considered to be a new version of the super famous project group 2002 Rotary, but there's definitely more to Millie than it first seems. Just by hearing Millie's rap and listening to her lyrics, we can tell that this girl is a straight up savage. And during the summer of 2021, she quite literally said, screw it, I'ma prove it. On July 21st, Millie actually trended on social media after she was allegedly called in by the police to face possible charges related to spreading disinformation. Millie actually became the first celebrity to be charged with such a crime for criticizing the government on social media in Thailand. And what exactly did Millie do? On her Twitter, she called out the Thai government regarding the pandemic situation in Thailand at that time. Once the news broke out that Millie might be in serious trouble, netizens and multiple artists artists started to trend hashtag save Millie to voice out their support towards the rap star. Regarding this matter, the Thai Minister of Digital Economy and Society said this, Actors, celebrities, and influencers are public figures that people love and have faith in, so please don't use this as a political movement to attack the government, because it's an act of distorting information and inputting fake news onto social media. If you're asking, what did she say? Well, Millie voiced out her concerns if she felt like the government didn't do enough to take control over the pandemic. Then the minister argued with another statement, but it only made things worse as people started to speak up against him, saying that what the government had done wasn't enough. Although it seemed really serious at first, it all ended well for Millie cause hey, she was innocent, obvi. Although she was ordered to pay a fine of $60 for defaming the Thai Prime Minister Prayut. The day after the incident, on July 22nd, Millie tweeted a photo of herself making the three finger salute. This gesture became synonymous to the pro-democracy movements in several Southeast Asian countries, but has since been banned in Thailand. To put an end to this whole case, Millie captioned the picture with, Thank you for all the support that came today. I insist on continuing what I have always done. Let us fight and fight. We won't give up. Do y'all see why I'm calling her an icon? I mean, Millie is on her way to slay everything. Can't wait to see her run for the government. Let's talk about Millie's lyrics for a second though. In her song, Pack Con, Millie raps about fake rumors being spread at school by a group of girls who only want boys to like them. In a sense, it was a breakthrough in a meltdown industry that's only fixed on flexing about money and well, you know what. Millie has a sharp tongue and sometimes it can get things around her pretty heated. Some of the lyrics in PacCon go like, you see high on birth control pills, just go back to sleep. You are a miss or a only chasing boys. And while she was praised by many for talking about something important, her lyrics were also criticized as 
sexist and misogynist. To these claims, Millie responded, I have to accept that I can't 100% please everybody. That would be ideal, but we can't reach that. I can't control their ears, and that's the diversity within a society. I understand them, but I have a mass audience. Generally speaking, Thai hip hop has been evolving throughout the years, and the lyrics and content gets as explicit as they can without being inappropriate. Yet Millie takes it even further. She stated, In my small circle, vulgar words can mean the opposite, the positive, but people in higher class think I'm shaming other women. I'm a disgusting but my circle commonly uses vocal words as compliment. Some of her songs are also influenced by particular events that happened when Millie was younger. Throughout her song, Sid Pang, Millie celebrates her beauty and self-empowers herself. It's a straight up confidence boost. Millie explained, When I was younger, boys liked to say to me, if your skin was lighter, I chase after you and ask you out. And I clap back, who asked you to chase after me? I think that's unfair because beauty comes in many forms. By releasing this song, Millie hoped that the song in which she sings in regional dialects to metaphorically say that beauty isn't concentrated in the capital will reach more young women. Millie shared, I watch tons of people's reactions to my first song and I could see that they really feel my music and lyrics because of how they shined within while singing along. I want to cheer them up with this song. I wasn't born fierce and confident and I used to be insecure. One of the things Millie used to be the most insecure about is her skin color. Because Millie's mother is from the south, her skin tone is darker than what is idealized by the prominent beauty standards. Nonetheless, what everybody says, Millie was able to overcome her insecurities and become a one fierce and confident queen, now spreading awareness about loving your skin as it is. But now to the big breakthrough. On 28th of October, Millie released another single, a collaboration track between her and two other artists. And those artists are none other than the legendary Thai rapper F Hero and Stray Kids Changbin. It's quite the mix, but it did wonders and the song has become a bop immediately after it hit the internet. Undoubtedly, everybody is absolutely phenomenal on this track, F Hero and Changbin being a great companion for Millie, but it's actually her who shined the most in this song. It was mainly because of her flow and how she wrote the rap herself entirely in English, Thai, and Korean. Her rap verse went viral on TikTok and is now flooded with thousands and thousands of videos using it. It was because of Changbin that the K-pop fans got to know Millie's artistry and her as an artist. And I must say, thank you. Since Stray Kids are becoming more and more popular and have a pretty large fan base, it was bound from the start that this song will gain a lot of support and love. Knowing what we know now, Millie must have been absolutely ecstatic to be able to collaborate with Changbin, who has been one of her role models for a long time. Turns out that Millie is a pretty big stay, but she's a huge fan of other K-pop acts as well. Millie had a small breakdown when NCT's Doyoung read her name when he was reading out the nominations for the 2020 Mama. Millie couldn't believe that a member from NCT read her name and she shared her joy on her Instagram. Millie is also a major BTS fan and she shared that Jimin is one of her main inspirations as well. What Millie didn't expect was that what happened with Doyoung in 2020 would happen again in 2021 with Changbin and Bangtan. Since Millie is a fan of Stray Kids, when she found out that Changbin mentioned her during the behind the scenes interview of the music video, she couldn't believe that it had just happened. Since history repeats itself, Millie had a little breakdown on her Instagram and it's actually adorable. But that wasn't the end of it all because Millie became the luckiest fangirl ever. Stays are an incredibly powerful fandom and every Sunday they tune into a live stream called Chan's Room hosted by Bangtan where they talk and recommend Bangtan their favorite songs. Obviously, it was time for Bang Chan to hear the masterpiece that Mir Mir is. And damn, he didn't hold back. During the live stream, Bang Chan shared his thoughts about the song and said, It is the first time, but the impact I got from her rap was unbelievable. And her color itself is so good. Like, wow, I was actually really, really amazed. Peng Chen also shared that he would definitely look more into Millie's work. Now, Millie couldn't quite believe what was happening. Since the start of her reaction video, the fans could see that she was obviously emotional and she's been crying since the beginning. Millie explained that she just saw the Stray Kids members talk about her and praise and it was just too unbelievable as she's been a fan of them since her pre-debut. Millie shared, I've been a K-pop fan for like seven years. Right now, I'm 19. This is impossible for me, you know? Like, I watched them before they debuted to be an artist like Stray Kids. I watched their competition with YG and JYP. Millie was clearly overwhelmed as she had her moment of fangirling, saying, Oh my god, I cannot explain in words. No matter Thai or English, I cannot. She explained her massive gratitude and said, I have to thank Yup, my entertainment company, for allowing me to do this project, for giving me a chance to be an artist in their company, and I have to thank you, JYP, for allowing 
allowing me to feature with their artist and the bass man who's like my dad freaking hero f hero millie has blown all of us away with her talent and insane rapping skills and we cannot wait to see what she's prepared for us next and if you haven't checked out mirror mirror yet this is your sign to go and do so and also support thai artists because they're working hard as hell thank you for watching bye guys